Well, hey folks, Captain Dave in the Wolf Den one more time. A lot of people ask me, hey Dave, what kind of braid, braided line do you use? It used to be a much hotter topic. I guess everybody's really getting into the fact that they can save a ton of money on braided lines by using some of the Chinese stuff, you know. The stuff that's all over eBay, it's all over Amazon. Basically, it's all made out of melted down, you know, soda bottle caps. The HDPE, I think. That's all it is. That has a very recyclable characteristic to it. And I sort of believe that that's all this is. But as you can see on my two Ryoga, Daiwa Ryogas right here, as you can plainly see, the line is dark. I got into this black braid kick quite a while ago. And I, I don't know. See, I fish such dark waters here in Jacksonville, Florida. I mean, this isn't, this isn't, you know, South Florida. I'm fishing in really muddy, dark water. And when you get down, let's say where the fish are, where the redfish are, they're, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 feet deep when we're catching, especially the big bull redfish. Those fish can't see anything down there. What I wanted to show you here is very simple. I don't know if you can see it right now, the way, the, how far the camera is from these two reels, because I'm looking in the viewfinder of my GoPro Hero 5, and I can't really see it because it's all blurry. So let me grab my reading glasses. All right, now, now I can see a difference. I can definitely see a difference. They're both supposed to be black line. They're both 30, I believe they're both 30 pound braid. This over here, this over here seems a bit thicker. This is a bit thinner. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I really don't really, I can't pinpoint exactly what brand this is. This is either one of two though. This is either Black Cast King or Black Godline. I'm having a feeling it's the Godline. I did a review. I really had no issues with it. I liked it. It was black for a while. These reels with the line on them are about the same age. That's the thing. This might be a little younger on the spool. This might be a little older. All right, let me bring it a little closer here. And you gotta remember, I've got all kinds of Ryogas. So when I clean one, it goes into service and the one that was on the reel goes out of service and gets cleaned. So my reels bounce around on various rods. But there you can see it. It's turned into a nice charcoal gray. Now it probably is dark underneath. Now this line is staying good and black. And I know exactly what this line is. It's the answer to what everyone, when somebody asks me, hey, what are you using for braid? And I put this on my community's uh, page on my YouTube channel. I kind of discussed it a little bit 
because I read so many goofy, goofy stuff on Amazon reviews. You want to read some real hoo on Amazon reviews sometimes. You could just sit and just entertain yourself for hours. This line right here, which is Hercules line. Hercules. It's a China braid. I've been using it for a long time. The reason I went, if this is Cast King and or the God line that I did the review of, all right, that they sent me, disclose, I'll disclose it, they sent me some. And then the thing was, is I wanted to, I went back to them and I said, hey, send me another like 2,500 yards instead of just a couple little small spools because I want to do a long, long-term review. And they refused to do it. They refused to do it. They were not interested in me doing a review of the line a year later. They didn't want to put skin in the game. Really? Are you kidding? I think you'd jump at something like this because they sent me like 60 bucks worth of line and I said send another 60 so I could put on my float rigs because it was getting into winter. Here's my float rig. It's on my new uh, ugly stick intracoastal. All right, so they didn't want to do a long-term review. I guess they don't trust me. Well, that agitated me. So what did I do? is I switched over. I still had that line. I did not take their line off by any means. And right after that, I went and I started using Hercules. You know, as I mentioned on a failed Amazon review that got, not it didn't get flagged, it just did not get approved. I basically told these people, stop being such a bunch of damn whiners because I'm catching big fish on this line, and then you got some guy in a bass pond or something throwing a damn spinner bait and a rubber worm, and he's telling me, oh, this line sucks, and oh, it's terrible, and it snaps, and it... Really? Okay. Okay, dude, whatever. There you go. That's the answer to what I use and have been using. Yes, this is still on several reels, several reels, this is all on several, uh, Hercules is on several Ryogas. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you a walkthrough and just show you that um, I have no problem with this line. No problem whatsoever. And I'm going to show you how many reels it's actually on. All right. Well, we're in the uh, rod room, the tackle vault. It's on here. I guess y'all are going to make me take off every one of my reel covers to prove it, right? And you know, I want to tell you straight up, nobody put me up to this. Nobody from Hercules line has given me diddly. I don't care. I don't care what you use. I, there it is, right there. Black Hercules. Okay, I don't care what you use. I don't care what Billy Bob down the street uses. The only thing that's ever important to me is what my customers are using and what I personally use. There you go. These are all my float rig fish and reels. I'm going to decoverize every reel here and kind of show you what's on there. There it is again, Black Hercules, 30 pound. I'm just trying to drive the point home from all that goofy, goofy stuff that I read on Amazon reviews. There it is again, Black Hercules with some salt underneath there. My two Ryogas plus these four already, well, what my one Ryoga on the on the workbench and all these have Hercules 30 on them. Alright, now let's go go down to this. Now I'm not gonna take every one of these dang covers off. Black Hercules 30. You don't see this th these these reels 
They sit out in the sun. These are my summertime go-to reels that I use for uh, light tacklish bull reds at the same time for giant, uh, you know, trout fishing with um, live croakers, pogies, mullet, and these are the uh, my ugly stick tiger, seven foot, just casting. I rigged up two here with three ounce floats because I'm gonna try that with a croaker on it when the tide's not running strong, just to keep him out of the bottom and see if he gets whacked a little harder. There's two more back there. All right, there's another one right there. Okay, then, oh uh, yeah, Hercules. Oh, this is a pain in the butt, but I'm doing it for you guys because you read those stupid Amazon reviews where I said there's probably so much human failure because of course everybody is God's gift to fishing no matter what you're doing. You know, the old legend in your own mind. People could probably say that about me. And guess what? I don't give a crap. All I care about is my customers. Um, this has, I believe, if one of them has it, they all have it. So let's see. Now, this has got green on it here, so that's some old, um, that's some old cast king right there. Let's see here. Yeah, that's some green cast king. But, let's just check it out here. Yep, yeah, that's black. That's black. That's black. This is black. Down here, that's black. So guess what? Every single one of these, except for this one, has all Hercules 30 on it. Alright, now let's go over to here. These are my Ugly Stick Tiger Light. Jigging, jigging. I don't jig with them. Well, we get jiggy with them sometimes. All right. Now that's a little faded looking. Let me feel how thick it is because it feels, it, some of the other stuff feels a little thicker. And no, I'm not using the Hercules um, eight strand. It's all four strand. I believe, there you go, that is probably, it's a little gray. It's hard to see. There's not a ton of light in here. But you can see it's grayed up a little bit. That's either um, Godline or Cast King. There we go. Yep, you can see. They've been using these for a while. That's really grayed up. It's not dark black. But I'm sure it's dark black underneath. But you know how a lot of people really, really get into, oh, my line's fading. I don't give a hoot, but all I know is I like it when it doesn't fade. Oh, yeah, look how faded that is. That's real faded. And this, and this room doesn't even have a lot of light. All right, then we go over here. Oh, this is going to be too dark. This is going to be dark. Here is a... Um, Daiwa Saltiga. That's grayed up a little bit. And these don't get used very often. These are special occasion reels only. And that's grayed up a little bit, so that's either Cast King or or Godline. You know, I told them they're going to have a problem with that name. I don't know who their marketing company was. Well, that's grayed up a little bit. There's a jigging Daiwa Ryoga. But I hope I'm making my point. There you go. That's the point I'm trying to make. When you read these reviews, especially on Amazon, especially, take it with a grain of salt. I mean, there's a lot of people out there, and I'm not poo-pooing you as a fisherman. I am saying that what is... I believe old commercials used to have it at the bottom. Your usage time and, and conditions may vary. Well, I'll tell you, my conditions, saltwater fishermen, heinous current fishing with big sinkers, goies going for big fish if we can, okay? Big red fish, 
big drum, big sheep's head, big trout, big sharks, all that kind of stuff. Am I having a problem with the Hercules? No. But if you read probably all of the 392 um, Amazon reviews, you're going to see a lot of good stuff. And then you read those goofy reports. And you, I just want you all to know, because I have the Hercules on my Tools of the Trade Amazon store. And the reason I have it there is for the reason you just saw right here. Is it works for me. It's very affordable. You can get it a little cheaper. And in 2,000 meter spools if you order it from you know, uh, China. Or you can get it you know, faster shipping because it'll be with Amazon, probably from the distributor who is out in California. That's all I know, and guess what? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you coming by, stopping in for just a bit of tackle talk, okay? Because we use and abuse stuff on my boat, and I'll tell you, it's not just because it's my boat or something like that. It's where I fish, the conditions I fish under, and how we have to fish, all right? This isn't la-la land. It's tough, wild, wild west still fishing here in Jacksonville in northeast Florida. It's wild, wild west inshore fishing compared to the rest of the state, pretty much. And if it works for me, I want you to know it'll probably work for you. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.